Let's get reaction to those new restrictions on pubs, restaurants and other hospitality venues from John Pivers, who's the landlord of the Bluebell in York. Hi, John. Uh, I gather you've been open properly for just three weeks. Now you'll have to close at 10 and it's only table service. How will that affect your business? It's devastating news, to be honest. Um, we have a capacity in the Blue Bell of 65 people. Um, with the social distancing measures, uh, that capacity was, was reduced to 20 people. Over the last three weeks, we haven't able, been able to turn a profit. Uh, we've been losing money every week, even though we've been filling the pub up to about 20 people. And now we're taking away around about 10% of our service time and implementing the table service uh, condition. It means that we're going to have to double our staff costs at a time when we're not even making money. Um, so it is very difficult at the moment. How much extra is it going to cost you to, to hire staff to do the table service? We're looking at about another £700 a week uh, and in small pubs like the Bluebell, uh, which are the sort of quintessentially uh, old British pubs, um, there's only about two metres gap from the bar to the table. Uh, and so now we're having to put a member of staff in between the bar and the table, uh, which doesn't seem to make much sense to us. I've got an email from a publican called Maggie Jordan who says she runs a little village pub. She's done everything from putting screens around the bar her team have masks, face shields and gloves. And she says she's probably got about another four weeks left before she goes out of business. Can you relate to that? Yeah, absolutely. And this, unfortunately, is happening up and down the country. And the big problem that we that we can foresee in the pub industry is that when we lose pubs, we don't just lose businesses, we lose people's homes. There's so many families in Liverpool pubs, and these are not just faceless businesses. Um, it is within the pub owning company's interest to make as many tenants go bankrupt so they can sell the buildings on for accommodation and for retail purposes. So what we really do worry about here is that these measures are going to run more people into bankruptcy. And we, when we lose those pubs, we lose a part of our culture and we're going to lose that forever which is a huge shame how many weeks do you think you've got left um, i'm having to take out a loan to see us through uh, we hope that we can get through this six months um, we just don't really know what the trade is going to be like. We don't know if as many people will be coming out to the pub and with the increased staffing costs, we really don't know. Uh, we're hoping to get to Christmas uh, and hopefully to, uh, to, to be able to still be open, uh, but it really is uh, the skin of our teeth at the moment. Well, I wish you all the best, John. I really do. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. John Pybus.